What's going on, you guys? Changing transmission fluid out today. Figured I'd show you guys how to. More importantly, I'm very curious about trying out this Redline MT90 because the reviews online are saying that this is the go-to for manuals. So yeah, I just put the transmission in. Obviously the fluid is fresh, but the transmission had been sitting for a while. So I had already pre-planned to just run the fluid for a little while and then take it out just in case there's any gunk left inside the transmission from sitting for so long, um, I could just flush that fluid out. So we use that Valvoline MTF synchro mesh, which I think is possibly a GL4, GL5 um, combination or something that meets both. Uh, this Redline MT90 is a GL4, which is specific to manual transmissions and safe with yellow metals. Um, and from everything I've read, this transmission fluid supposed to be very good um the only notchiness i'm getting is when it's cold and going into second gear it's a little bit uh more i don't know what you call it kind of clunky um and it goes away as soon as it's warm and that exact scenario has been pointed out in a few reviews for this fluid and people said that it alleviated that problem and people have gone so far as to saying it rejuvenated a transmission that they thought was donezo so you know i don't know uh but it does have a lot of reviews that say things like that so i figured it'd be a worthwhile uh change to uh, add that fluid in so show you guys how to pretty simple i'm gonna get the car jacked up and then i'll catch you guys in a second All right, car's jacked up. You always wanna make sure that your car's level if you're doing any type of transmission fluid most of the time. So safe bet just to get it up on all fours. All right, tools you're gonna to need for this job is a 17 millimeter hex head, a 14 millimeter hex head, ratchet or whatever you wanna use. Um, Need some type of fluid extractor. I guess you don't necessarily need it depending on what type of fluid. I know like Amsoil has those bags that you can kind of pour in, but this makes life a lot easier. I got this one from FCP Euro a while ago. I haven't used this one, but I have another one that I used to use in the past uh, that didn't have the pump on it. So I think this one's going to be better to use. Uh, and then optional, I'm going to put a little bit of silicone on the uh, plugs when I put them back in, um, just so I don't get any leaking, like a tiny bit, not much at all. Um, so yeah. So underneath here is what you'll find. There is a drain plug. And right there, you can see it. That is a fill plug. So I'm moving in kind of a tight space. So I'm gonna get the fill plug uh, undone first, and then I will drain the fluid. Always make sure your fill plug can get undone first. It is out. A little bit of fluid came out, uh, which is to be expected. I actually raised the car up a little more in the front, so I think it was a little bit uneven, um, but now I'm going to undo the drain bolt. So like I said, nice and clear fluid. See right now, no real debris, which is good on the plug. Um, the fluid looks nice and clean, so I'm glad, but it's worth doing. I wanted to change the fluid out anyways, and like I said, just to be safe uh, in case there was anything built up in the trans, um, get it out now after it got a chance to kind of slosh around for a couple hundred miles. All right, I'm gonna let this drain for probably 15 minutes or so, and then uh, I'll check back on it. All right, so the FCP Euro one, I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but this is designed for like a traditional quart bottle. The Redline bottles are a bit different. So Redline change your bottles. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm just using my old trusty one, just a pump and then fluid will go out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this down there and ready. So I'm ready to start putting the fluid in. Um, 
this transmission takes anywhere between like 1.6 and 1.8 quarts. So I'll just fill it up basically until it starts uh, overflowing and then try to cap it. Well, that was a bit of an adventure because of the uh, pumps not working correctly, but got it in with some ingenuity and combining both of the two basically. And you get to see it's now uh, light out and uh, the car's buttoned up. Got to get it off the jack stands and then we'll be good to go. All right, all buttoned up back on the ground. Now we'll go for the first test drive and uh, I'll update you guys. You'll see this video in about a week. So I'll see how it does throughout the week and see if I notice any change. So definitely uh, already on the first test drive, I feel a difference. Um, shifts just feel a little more buttery to be honest. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I don't think it's placebo. I, I feel like I could tell the difference uh, right away. The transmission was pretty cold when I left from how long I let it sit while I was there. Um, and that second gear kind of clunkiness was not there the first time that I shifted. So a true test will have to come this week when I do a, a thorough cold start in the morning and a cold drive in the morning. And we'll see then, but so far, so good. Beautiful morning, beautiful time to be driving a six-speed C55. Couldn't be happy right now, man. Saw rainbow and everything this morning. So that'll conclude the journey for now. You guys will see me in about a week and see how things have gone. See you in the future.